Do you feel like you have too much to do in your business and it's starting to bleed into your life and you just want some more time and energy and maybe some support? Then this episode is for you. Hello, lovely Dynamic Woman, and welcome to the Dynamic Woman podcast. I am Diane Rolston, your host, and I have two amazing women here today that I know quite well, and I'd like to say hello to them. Hey, Barb Wallach and Jackie Rougeau. How's it going? Good. Hello to you. Good. Yeah. Uh, why don't, before we get in, because we are going to talk today about how to get business support with your very own VA, um, I would love for the listeners to hear more about what you do, because there are so many different types of businesses who have virtual assistant support. And I should specify VA is virtual assistant. Um, and we're going to be talking today about virtual assistants from overseas, specifically the Philippines, but there's so many different business models. So I'd love to hear, have you share a little bit more about what you do, uh, maybe how long you've been in business, um, the and the type of people you support, that sort of stuff, because it really helps people to understand how a VA could fit into their business. So Barbara, why don't we start with you? Sure. Uh well, yes, I'm Barbara Wallach, and I am helping women take control of their uh, mindset around abundance and prosperity. I teach them how to have peace of mind and put their financial plan together, because we know what a hot topic that can be. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's necessary. It shouldn't be the dirty little secret. It, yeah, it it has become that, unfortunately. But you know that's okay. Women have this beautiful power within themselves that uh, once tapped into, you know, has them feel good about what it is they do and how they make money and put it to work for themselves. And, you know, it's, it's been what over three decades that I've been working in this business, running a finance, you know, a financial planning business, where I had a full time assistant back in the day to the last 10 years of building it from the ground up, and then adding the coaching component to it, mm -hmm. and the mindset component to it. So um, it's been a really interesting journey in how to, uh, you know, from as from a, a business owner, CEO perspective, for yeah. myself, you know, starting it with no help, maybe having a little bit of help, and then yeah. not and then, you know, and I know, we're going to talk about more about that later. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. you know, in a nutshell is you know, money's there, it's always going to be there in one way, shape or form. And we have to have a very solid and loving relationship with ourselves around it. Awesome. So to sum this up and listeners, I'll, I'll do this kind of throughout just to kind of pull the key things. So Barbara is a coach. She is a, like a trainer. She has events and programs that she puts out and she's an advisor in, in some, some ways and now a solopreneur, but did work for companies before. So you can kind of see um, her background and wh what type of things she's offering now to see kind of how someone else would fit in and supporting that. So Jackie, you have a different model, a different type of business. So why don't you share yours? Yeah, I'm uh, Jackie Rougeau. And I'm a social seller in the direct sales Ooh, industry. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And I've been doing this for 15 years, came into the business sort of just for fun and community. And it's become so much more for me. Um, right now, I'm traveling uh, the world. I've traveled <laughs> the world. Right now, I'm in the United States of America, traveling yep. uh, in my RV. I've um, actually sold everything, gave away a lot of my worldly possessions, uh, donated whatever, and just have a small, small storage unit where we've kept our mementos, me and my partner, John. And um, we bought an RV and we're traveling in our RV. We're towing our Mini Cooper on a trailer and we're venturing um, down in the US now. This is our first year in the US and um, yeah, it's been fun. So I'm busy. I'm busy, busy, busy. My brain is busy. I, I'm i quite sure that I'm undiagnosed ADHD, yeah. kind of figuring that out as I've gotten older. And so I, I like to 
kind of find ways to help me with my business, but I want to have fun too. So you yeah, know, I can so- tend to work way too much and <laughs> okay. need to bring the more fun into my life. Yeah. But why don't you share a little bit about what your business is? Yes. Yeah, so, well, it's, it's, I'm a spice girl. <laughs> You're a spice girl. What's uh, up? Yeah. So it's a, a business coming from um, Vancouver Island, actually. Epicure is the name of it. It's um, we share healthy meals. So my whole goal is to basically teach people um, how to read labels, how to bring healthy meals on their table in a quick awesome. amount of time because mm-hmm. we are all time strapped and we want we all want to eat healthier uh, we sometimes we just don't know how and yeah. so that's my job is to do that teach that i do virtual cooking classes from my rv um covid helped me um get into the virtual part of it i used to go into people's homes and do the same thing i also support uh, a team an organization actually of yeah mostly women, uh, business women who are looking to um, bring a little bit more income into their homes. And some of them, a cu- couple of my um, my gals are are doing very, very fi- well financially, bringing a lot of income to, into their homes. And uh, for me, I got to retire my partner um, early and so that we could live, live this life that we want to live. Yeah. And you're also yeah. traveling with your two fur babies too. And my two fur babies. <laughs> Your two doggies. So yeah. very, very different business, but a lot of similar needs. And we're going to kind of talk about that a little bit more. So we've got Barbara, who's like an expert with knowledge that she imparts on others in different ways. Um, so she is more service based and products would be the programs and such. And then Jackie has a team of people and they're selling an actual consumable product um, with a customer base. And so she also is an expert on, on the knowledge, but in support of selling the products. And so a little bit different, but we're going to see how, uh, very, very similar in, in needs in business and listener, as you're kind of going through, I were, I had them talk Barbara and Jackie talk a lot about what they do so that you can really start to see what you do in your business and start to relate to different pieces um, so that you can see how getting some support might fit into what you do. So before you both had a VA, because you you both have a virtual assistant from the Philippines currently, what, what was life before you had a VA? How was business before you had a VA? Crazy? Busy? Wild? <laughs> Barbara, go ahead. Okay. Um, well, I got to say, you know, um, when my virtual assistant started, I had all these beautiful ideas and I'd start them and then I'd get distracted and I would feel super unorganized. And then I get pulled over to the financial planning side of my, my business, which is up and running and flowing and it's beautiful and it hardly takes me any time. And I'd be like, well, why can't I do that with the coaching side of the business. So yeah. when, and that was really, you know, we, one of the reasons why I said, yes, you know, I'm so ready to have an impact in the world to, to show women that, you know, this can be really super easy, mm. but I couldn't get organized enough, uh, focused enough to get all the administrative stuff done, the worksheets, the social media posts, just being oh, consistent yeah. in different things. Mm. Um, which are not my zone of genius. Yeah. So I have, that's why, and I'm like, okay, you know what? I have such great ideas. I have great teachings and learnings and trainings that I want to share out there with, with the world. The only way I'm going to be able to do that, which is my zone of genius is to have somebody do the work behind the scenes. Yeah. So I can show up every day, you know, um, and, and do what I do best. So how did it feel knowing that you had all this stuff you wanted to do, but you couldn't do it? Well, it, I, I would get depressed, hmm. right? I go down this deep, dark tunnel and, you know, I teach women how to get out of there, but, you know, <laughs> I could see myself going in there myself yeah. and I'm like, you know, and, and when you're have this push pull energy within yourself, you know, that you know you have this passion, this desire to, to do something and you're just not getting anywhere, 
it's just like, ugh, you know, I give up or, you know, you, you just sort of keep continuing to tread water and that's no, yeah. no way to be in yeah. business. Yeah. And that actually just made me feel really sad for the people who I meet, you know, at an event or something and they say, oh yeah, I'm writing my book this year. Or I'm putting out my program this year. And then I meet them at the same event the following year. And I said, how did your book go? And how's your program? And can I see it? Can I buy one? And they go, oh, I haven't done it. That was me. <sighs> yeah. So, you know, the potential's there. 100%. And you want to do it. And I, what I also know about a lot of people I talk to is because they haven't done it, they think, oh, I guess it wasn't meant to be. I guess I'm not cut out for this. I guess I should give up that dream and go back to that safe and secure job that I had, but, but that didn't, you know, bring me energy. Um, yeah. Well, let's hear from you, Jackie. How was life before the VA? Because you have a pretty big team who are, yeah. you're responsible to, and you have your own business of sales that you need to do. So what did yeah, it yeah. feel like before? Yeah. So it, it was really difficult for me to be able to encompass it all and be really good at what I wanted to do with my team and my own business. So one would always kind of be put to the side. So if I was focusing on my, my personal business, the team kind of got left to the side and vice versa. If I thought, okay, I'm going to just focus on my team and support them and all that good stuff. Yeah my personal business would kind of lack a bit and it both of them have to run smoothly in order for me to grow and for the organization to grow, for my people to grow. And I really was being hard on myself because I didn't feel like I was a, being a good leader um, in all aspects. Cause if I wasn't do, even doing my personal business and showing the way um, things were lacking and I, I do get overwhelmed easily. Like Barbara, I have tons of wonderful things in my head. And I know Diane knows a few of them. I have all <laughs> these things that I want to do. And then I'm all over the map. I, I'm like squirrel, squirrel, squirrel. Yes. I work on one yes. thing. Yeah. So to get guidance from somebody else <laughs> and support from that stuff. Like yeah. the computer work, who the I don't stuff. personally, don't I don't want to sit yeah. and start entering names into a database. That's just not something I want to do. So yeah, that put got put to the side. Yeah. So the things that you don't like doing that drain your energy, you procrastinate on. And by you, I mean, like everybody does this. We procrastinate mm -hmm. on the things we don't enjoy doing. Then we feel bad that they're not getting done. We feel guilty. Then we feel the repercussions of that not being done. Uh, I know that there was one of our clients. She she said, oh, Diane, I got three new clients this week. And I was like, how did you do that? And she's like, I actually took the time to put my follow-up system in place and we turned it on. <laughs> I was like, ah, oh, <laughs> darn it. And she just didn't want to do it. And so her VA helped her to do it. Um, but that's the thing. We, we get into that downward spiral of, of these things not happening and it causing other things to happen. And all we want to do is do the things we're good at and maybe the things we're paid to yep. do, but it, it really messes with our energy and our confidence because we're lacking in these other areas. So tech, I know was one thing that you also did not enjoy, um, Jackie. And, nope. <laughs> and it's kind of same with Barbara, you were saying like, and then there's the, the handouts to make. And then, you know, the, probably the editing of your videos for your programs. Mm -hmm. And there's all these other pieces that you're just setting like, up my events. And yeah, you're yeah. like, just let me, just let me do by the, by behind the camera stuff and the <laughs> coaching of the clients. Well, Barbara, you mentioned it a little bit. Maybe you can just really make it um, really clear what had you decide to get the VA? Because I know that this is a thought. Oh, yeah, I've been meaning to do that. Yeah, I should get support. Yeah, I've thought about hiring someone. I hear this all the time from different business owners. So what had you actually decide to, to take the step? I knew that I was when I was ready, mm -hmm. I'd gotten more clarity in my business. But what made me really jump was knowing that my virtual assistant, assistant, sorry, 
was going to be the most amazing accountability. Oh, yes. For me. <laughs> <laughs> so there was going to be no more procrastination because yeah. I brought a, a team member into my business whom I responsible for to keep busy, uh, financially responsible for, because it is a financial commitment. Yeah. And that with that support, I could see myself turning a profit mm. because I spent so much time on non revenue generating income generating yes. uh, tasks when I really needed to focus on what can I do to generate an income? That's why we're in business. Yeah. Oh yeah. All right. So, so I, I hear three big things here, but you finish your thought there. It's gone. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, brain. <laughs> just got excited. One is you just felt you just felt ready. Yeah, whatever that means to a person to feel ready. Uh, and it could be feeling ready, but being super terrified. Uh, I've heard a lot of people say I'm super excited and also nervous. And that's normal. Uh, but you said you felt ready. So you just mm -hmm. listen to yourself self awareness, you're really good at that and move forward. Um, the second piece, the accountability of being responsible for someone else. Um, definitely this is, this is the piece that pushes us to do. And I, I laugh now because when I leave a meeting, my team doesn't leave with a list of things to do. I do <laughs> because they're telling me now, cause they're taking on projects that they're like, Hey, we just need this from you. And it really helps to take things off, off out of my mm -hmm. head. Right. But the, um, the third piece is around, you know, you need to focus on income generating activities right? Revenue generating activities. Mm -hmm. And we're mm -hmm. not spending enough in that area, which is causing us to just be busy in the business and not making the money that we want. So it was really interesting to say, like you needed to invest to make the money. You needed to have someone else ha make an income in your business so that you could make a bigger one. That's right. And yes, it was terrifying too. Oh, okay. mm -hmm. quite honestly, because the, <laughs> the financial investment into something that's not you know, that, that I've sort of started afresh again. Yeah. Was like, this has got to work when you have skin in the game and I teach the stuff and I'm like, wow. Yeah. Skin in the game. This is going to work. I've got a partner now and I'm thriving. Yay. Well, we're afterwards, I'm going to ask you like, how is life in business now? Mm -hmm. um, I'm excited to hear uh, more about that. And uh, I'm sure the listeners are like, okay, well, what did it give you though? Right. We want to hear <laughs> that. So Jackie, how about you? What was that moment of like, yep, doing this? Well, I've been watching you with your VAs and I've even built a relationship with, with Carissa yeah. <laughs> and um, seeing how well it's going and, and what they're doing. And I've been, you know, thinking I needed someone for quite a while. I have all these systems that I want to put into place and, and it's just always on the back burner and everything's just, yeah. So I just went the one day I just thought I'm just going to do it. Even though I did yeah. have a great fear about doing it. Cause I felt like, I don't know if I'm good enough to have a VA like yeah. this, like, you know, you'd mentioned like, it's like people don't, like I, it's my business, like, but I'm not good enough for that. And so it's like, oh, come yeah. on, Jackie. Yes, you are. It's like, <laughs> five, four, three, two, one, do it. And I messaged yeah. Diane. And I said, okay, I'm ready. <laughs> yeah, that was really exciting. Yeah. Totally exciting. Yeah. And that happens a lot. I think we have this imposter syndrome that steps in mm -hmm. and says, you know, we're not good enough. We can't do it. But what I, when I had this moment of, am I going to do it? I had already had for eight years assistance in Canada and I was responsible for them. Now they were contracted, which I felt was a lot easier to handle rather than an employee where I'm, and in Canada with like paying in CPP and all that stuff that you got to do. And you got to do it the legal way, right? And following the government's rules. But when I was thinking of like, well, this person's going to do work and I'm going to pay them. Like in the Philippines, it was, it was a much easier thought process of like, I don't have to register them with my government. I don't have to pay their CP. Like they're contracted. It's, it felt a lot easier for me to be able to take that on. Plus the, 
investment per hour is, is a lot different, a lot lower. <laughs> um, and whatever people believe about that, um, my feeling is we need to pay people um, what they're worth so that they can have and in the economy that they live in so that they can have a really good life and that they are respected and feel appreciated. Mm. Um, so that, and we are all in, in Canada, um, but I have U.S. clients too, so that we can turn around and invest money into our local economy, right? So that's, that's yeah, important yeah. to me. So how's life now? How's life now? How is business now? How are you feeling as a business owner now, Barbara? I am feeling much more organized and and uh, mm. uh, on purpose with a, a proper plan in place to uh, to generate revenue and, and have impact out there in the world. I went on a vacation by myself Ooh. and uh, work continued to flow. Ooh. I was able to show up and do a little little here, a little there, and it just kept rolling on without without worry about, you know, um, my client's not getting looked after. Mm. Uh, so we're living the four hour work week idea during yeah, your vacation. Yeah. Yeah. A little bit every morning while I gazed at the ocean and I was inspired and I got some writing done and mm. I was able to really, you know, just be with nature on my vacation and, and allow whatever came through to me to write it which is before I'd be like, oh, but I got to do this and I got to do that. And all that other stuff would get in the way of my creativity of accessing that. <clears throat> but, and, and then, you know, even now, a couple of weeks ago, I had a fall and I gave myself my second concussion of the year. And um, so I've had to gear down yet again. Yeah. And, you know, there's, there's all kinds of, you know, reasons that, that one is to heal, but one is that it's time for me to just, again, sit back and, and uh, allow my assistant to do the work. Yeah. So I've got the energy and the health to show up. Yes. I couldn't have done that before. Yeah. Yeah. Imagine if with a concussion, you still had to get behind the computer and do all the admin stuff and the emailing and the mm -hmm. sequences for your programs and all <laughs> setting up the techno. Oh my goodness. No. And That's right. When my dad died, my clients were shocked that I was still coaching. And I said, no, this is where I still feel alive. Yeah. This is where I still feel yeah. happiness. So, you know, or when he was in palliative care, they're like, do, do you need to be with him? And I was like, I just visited him this morning. Like he's not responsive. I'm, this is my joy place. So you get to do the same. You get to just show up for your clients and be amazing. Mm -hmm. And then in the other times, just let your assistant do the rest. No, exactly. Right. So my, my, awesome. uh, my, uh, manifestation circles there's you know they're still getting advertised or people are still signing up my book club you know I'm meeting with my my circle every week and um showing up and guiding them and I yeah. don't have to do any of the work around it just show just show up and, show up and be brilliant and be brilliant <laughs> <laughs> well it's it's our, I do say it's so myself. what you're meant to do right you're doing what yeah. you're meant to do yeah and um so some of the keywords, listeners, I hope you grab these. Barb's more organized. She has a plan now that she's following. She was able to be creative, right? Those, those key things there, able to take a vacation and able to pass off things so that she can take care of her priorities. I think those are like five incredible uh, benefits now that you're living in. How about you, Jackie? How's life and business now for you? Really good. Um, my VA, I have really good um, communication and relationship with my VA. We hit it off right away when we first met. And I was super nervous to do that initial meeting. Uh, it was such an unknown for me. And um, I, I think Barbara had talked about it. She keeps me accountable. <laughs> like, <laughs> just like, yeah. she'll say, Jackie, I need this. Or Jackie, can you do this? Jackie, what should we work on next? <laughs> and it's like, oh, oh yeah, okay, let's do this. <laughs> and she's got some, my follow-up, my customer follow-up. She's done all the back work to get that in motion. Yeah. And follow up with some of my consultants and um you know she's, she's going to start working on my website that i 
I just want it to get up and running and then I'll do the cooking classes and I'll do all the yeah. videos and whatever yeah. to go into that. But all that back end stuff, she's got that ready to go. And it just feels, um, it just feels freeing. So I've been able to do more with John. Like he said to John, I have done no work today. <laughs> the sales feel like, keep coming in. Yeah. Yeah. I have no problem there. Like it's, and I just noticed today I opened up my email quick. I haven't gone into that, but um, my VA had sent out um, thank you um, emails to all of my customers for awesome. just this month. And I seen a couple of replies to it. So that communication with my customers that was kind of waning a bit um, yeah. because I do have great sales and to keep up with it has been overwhelming. So she's taken the overwhelm away from me and yeah. it's, it is it's honestly freeing it's giving me the ability to enjoy um the life that I want to live and yeah, frees me up to do the other things that I have on my plate that I want to do yeah because you're traveling now mm -hmm. so benefits I'm hearing is uh less overwhelm or no overwhelm because she's taking things over uh increased sales because the follow-up is happening and it doesn't have to be you um, more enjoyment in life and time. And I, I know that sometimes when I get super busy and I need to pass off more, um, my husband, my husband will be like, you've been working a lot. Right. And I'm like, Oh, okay. Or kids will be like, <laughs> you have another call. So yeah. that's when I'm like, okay, pass off more. Um, yeah. and the fact that she's being proactive, which is something we're really trying to build yes. into all of our virtual assistants, that ability to just take projects on. So it's, it's not in your mind. And it's funny how surprised you are. We're like, I haven't worked today. Um, but <laughs> the business is, is still going and we yeah. want to be able to have that rather than putting in 10, 12 hour days. We want to be able to have that freedom. Otherwise we can just go get a nine to five job. Yeah. Right? yeah. So no. <laughs> no, no, but I mean, that's what happens. Yeah. So yeah. I've got a couple final questions here for you. Um, in this next question, I wonder if we can do kind of like a, a, like a quick fire of some of the things that your VAs do for you. So we'll just kind of like go in a circle. Well, we'll go back and forth. And if you guys need a moment, I'll throw in something else, but let's just like rapid fire a list of things that your VA has done for you just to give people an idea of like, oh, they can do that or they can do that. I haven't thought about that because the biggest issue I've heard from people who have had someone work for them is they say, I don't think I was maximizing their time. I ran out of things to give them. Now I have a list of 229 tasks you can give mm -hmm. plus a whole bunch of already made systems and processes around what you can give. So it's super easy. Um, but what have you guys used? So Jackie, we'll start with you. Uh, well, she set up, she investigated a CRM program for me. Um, I didn't have one in place and she's, I paid for it. She set it all up. She's done the email systems. Um, she's done my emails. I sent her my headshots. She's put things together. Um, we worked for hand in hand in what kind of colors we wanted. She did all that. She's done my send out cards. She's working now, pause on my there. website. We'll go to, we'll go to Barbara. We'll okay. go back and forth, back and forth. Barbara. Okay. I know yeah. you're excited. No, it is exciting. <laughs> uh, she learned Kajabi and built my website. Oh. That's all my email sequencing, built all my event platforms, all my landing pages, all my social media marketing. Okay, Jackie. What else? You were saying send out cards, sending actual yes, cards. Yes, send out cards. Yeah, so sending out um, cards. Um, my, I've We've set in place some um, anniversaries for my whole organization, people that I've really not met before. And um, we've got anniv happy anniversaries going out. And uh, the response that I'm getting back from that, it's been, oh, you just made my day. Thank you for that. Aww. And oh, I didn't even know I was with Epicure that long. Yeah. <laughs> nice. How about, what else, Barbara? Uh, she is uh, repurposing a lot of the material that I've had sort of in the vault. Um, mm. Currently working on the uh, sort of like a revive your financial plan or your sacred wealth plan program. So nice. she's going to take that all off my hands and make it happen. You know, make it happen. 
Yeah. And one thing I was hearing from your VA, um, one of her wins in our, we do a monthly call with all the VAs and her, she was like, I put up this post about this book club that, that my client was doing and she already got two sales on it. And she was so pumped. She's like, because I made that and put it up, she got money coming in. So she was so excited. Um, Jackie, anything else you want to add to the list of things? Well, there's a list of things that we're still working on and I'm wanting to her to take over some of my social media posts, help me with reels and yeah. um, engaging social selling good stuff that we, I want to get out there and nice. working, help me, me work on my vlog that yes. I want to get going. You will, you will. That's going to yes. happen in yes. 2023 for sure. It is. It the is. The vlog will be out there. Amazing. Yep. Barbara, any last, uh, tasks that you want to share I know you've given a lot but yeah no um yeah just she's she's uh revamped and created worksheets for me I've got uh, all my sort of lead magnets are uh branded yeah. beautifully oh level so, things up amazing yes. amazing uh yeah there's so many things and the joy is that as you work with them you go oh can you can you do that and can you do that mm -hmm. like I just saw today an image of a person standing at in the front of the like Facebook post and the video moving behind them of like the program <laughs> of like uh images of worksheets going past and so this morning, I shared it with one of my VAs and I said, hey, can we make something similar to this, like modeling it after with moving video behind me? Right. I just like and I, I don't have to figure it out. I can just say, hey, can we do something like yeah. this? Here's another idea. So always thinking of new ideas of what we can do and and they're coming up with new ideas, which is fun. Mm -hmm. So final question here. There are a lot of people I meet that are on the on the fence around getting a VA or they feel guilty that about passing off work to someone, they feel like they should be able to do it all themselves. Um, or they think they're maybe not ready for it. Like I haven't been at, well, Barbara, you've been in business a long time. And <laughs> Jackie, you said you've, you've had all this success and you've been doing this forever too. Like maybe they're new in their business. Maybe they don't know what they want to do in their business. Um, just what would you say to someone who's at this position of, I don't know. I don't know if I should get a VA or not. I don't know if it's right for me. Jackie I would, oh, or Barbara, go ahead, Barbara. Okay, sorry, I was already in motion there. I yeah, would say, you know, um, ask yourself why you're you're asking yourself that. Right? Is that just a limiting belief? Mm. And do it. And do it. Yeah. It could yeah. be just the next best thing for you. To yeah. get your either business off the ground or to level it up so you can focus on what you want to focus on mm, like you have exactly yeah yeah mm -hmm. awesome jackie how about you i was one of those people that thought i i don't even know if i can tell somebody what to do like i don't know if i can <laughs> you know all these things in my brain i don't know if i can put them in words to have somebody help me with it and those simple loom videos of showing them how to do it. Yeah. Um, like the process is there and the support is there as well with the, the Trello boards and everything that's in place yeah. definitely helps guide me. So don't be afraid. I say just like jump in, jump in afraid. I do that with almost everything in my life. Jump in afraid and things will figure it out because I did not have it figured out at all. Yeah. But I thought I'm just going to go for it. And um, I'm so happy that I did because I was, yeah, I like I was that person. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So true. So true. Um, I thank you so much for sharing what you've shared today, for being vulnerable and sharing kind of the hard parts of, of how business is. Uh, and I also applaud you for sharing like the joys and the celebrations and the accomplishments that you both have had. Uh, in your business. And the the key thing for anyone listening, if you do want to have that support, you can reach out. We'll pop in like a link to some more information if you want to learn about VA Made Easy, which is a four-week program where I hire your VA for you from the Philippines. I then teach you how to delegate. 
I give you all the tools and processes and systems that you need to get started. And then I support you along the journey uh, and continue to keep kind of, it's, I continue to stay in the relationship so that I help you and your virtual assistant to continue to grow and thrive together. So if that's something you want to know more about, please check the show notes for the information and reach out if you want to have a conversation. I'm happy to, to have a 30 minute complimentary chat if, if you are one of the people on the fence or even if you're ready to go, but you just have more questions. So Barbara and Jackie, I know that 2023 are going to be great years for both of you. Uh, I've you know seen and heard some of the things that you're you're up to, and I appreciate you coming and spending time with me uh, to be on the podcast. Uh, I know your lives are busy, even if it's just busy enjoying traveling, Jackie. <laughs> um, I know your lives are busy, so thank you so much for being here. You're welcome. It's a pleasure to be here, Diane, and you are um, one of my my greatest support uh, mentors and it's true. You know, you, you are always there for us if we need a quick minute. Hmm. So you're, we're not left alone. Yeah. Or a longer minute. Sometimes or a longer minute depends. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank yeah. you for that. I, I appreciate it. Uh, thank you for listening everyone to the dynamic woman podcast, hit like and subscribe. If you haven't yet, Make sure you share this with a friend, maybe someone in your life that you wish you could hang out with more, but they're just so friggin' busy all the time. And you know that they need some help. Pass this off to them <laughs> and uh, make sure that you join us each week where either I'll be sharing from my expertise or I'll be bringing on other dynamic, successful women like Barbara and Jackie, and you don't want to miss out on that. So until next time, stay dynamic. Bye.